Women who've been murdered, 38% of them were murdered by an intimate partner. Another form of violence is female genital mutilation and cutting, which still today affects 200 million girls. And violence against girls and women is one of the most pervasive, fundamental, violations of human rights in the world. Today it affects one in three women, girls and women globally. The most common form of violence is intimate partner violence, uh, which is experienced by women all over the world, across ages, across geographies, across socioeconomic statuses. Of women who've been murdered, 38% of them were murdered by an intimate partner. Another form of violence is female genital mutilation and cutting, which still today affects 200 million girls. And then we should talk about trafficking as well, which is a, a, a very serious problem. We know that 71% of trafficking victims are also girls and women. So violence is taking all these different forms, but the common thread is that it is affecting far too many girls and women. The 193 countries that agreed to the Sustainable Development Goals agreed to SDG 5, which is the goal aimed at achieving universal gender equality. And within that, there's a target of eliminating all violence against girls and women. But if you look across the 17 goals, we have these bold aspirations for no hunger, no poverty, decent work and opportunity for all. Women who are subjected to violence and who survive violence, their ability to achieve de decent work, to be healthy, to be safe, is undermined. And so violence against girls and women is one of the things that will hold back universal achievement of the SDGs, and so that's why it's one of the things that we should focus on. Because this is a global issue that affects so many girls and women, the UN is prioritizing a range of things to combat violence against girls and women. The Spotlight Initiative was launched in September 2017 and initiated by the European Union and the UN. It was named the Spotlight Initiative for the focused attention that it will bring to violence against girls and women. It is an ambitious, multi-year partnership that includes a number of UN agencies and that will tackle all forms of violence against girls and women, but specifically femicide, sexual and gender-based violence, domestic and intimate partner violence, and sexual exploitation. For too long, the world has acknowledged violence against girls and women with a shrug. Too many think that it's too difficult an issue, that it's cultural, that it's inevitable. And that's unacceptable. When a girl or a woman tells her story, hear her, listen, and back her up. And for all of us, we can say enough. Violence dehumanizes all of us, and we don't have to accept it. Oh,